I'm Ali from Natural Balance Health and Fitness. I'm 39 weeks pregnant and today I'm going to take you through a few pregnancy yoga postures that I've used right the way throughout my pregnancy. So all you'll need is a yoga mat. I've got two mats here. You only need one. Uh, this is just for the purposes of me being able to show you both front and side on views of the postures. And if you have a yoga block or a cushion then those could also be useful. So I'll let you go grab those now, uh, press pause if you need to, and then we'll get started. Okay, so the first posture that we're going to do today is called extended child's pose. Now I'm going to start by showing you the side on view and then I'll move into front view after that. So what you need to do is take your knees as wide as you can comfortably. If you're further along in your pregnancy uh, then you'll probably need to take your knees a bit wider to make space for your bump. And then all you're going to do is walk your hands forward, stretch the arms out in front, and just sit your buttocks back towards your heels and just relax the head down to the floor. So you'll see that my buttocks are nowhere near my heels. I have quite tight hips so you might be able to do better than me in that respect. So just relaxing into the posture. This is a great one for releasing through the lower back. Now in yoga we usually breathe in and out through the nose but most importantly throughout the session just make sure you are breathing continuously and never holding your breath. We want to think about keeping our spine nice and long and our shoulders drawn back and down so that we create space between the shoulders and the ears. As you feel yourself relax more, you might feel your hips drop down closer towards your heels and maybe your back loosen up a little bit. Just listen to your body and take, take the stretch just to where you feel it, not to where you're feeling any pain. Now I'm going to show you a couple of variations on this posture. The first one, we're just going to lift up a wee bit. I'm going to take one arm underneath the body the back of the hand down towards the ground and then we're going to let the shoulder drop straight down to the ground and we're going to turn and just look towards that arm that you've just taken under the body if it feels okay on the neck and then with the other arm we can just extend it out in front nice and long so we're still stretching into the lower back here and with the addition of the arm reach, we're getting into the back of the shoulder, so you should feel a great stretch through there. Now if any of these postures don't feel quite right, please come out of them. Maybe do a little bit of a readjustment before sinking back in again. For example, on this one, if your knees hurt, then you definitely need to come out of the posture and either just have a rest or try another position. Now we're going to do the same stretch over to the other side, so easing up, extend the other arm underneath and relax it down. I'm going to let you guys hold this one there just a little bit longer. If you just stay there, I'm just turning towards the front now just to show you another variation. So again, I'm taking my knees wide and stretching my arms out in front. You can join me here back in the original extended child's pose with the arms fully extended out front. 
from here we're just going to lift up slightly we're going to walk our fingers over to one side and then gently drop back down now you should feel a little bit more of a stretch just through the side of that shoulder there and then all the other parts of the posture just stay the same and then when you're ready lifting up slightly walking those hands over and same thing on the other side One last time, let's walk back to the centre, sinking down into the stretch. One last hold. So when you're ready, coming up, nice and slowly, onto your hands and knees. Again, I'm just going to switch into the side on view, so you can stay where you are. Okay, and we're going to get into what I call a box position. Okay, so the box position begins with your hands about shoulder distance apart and your knees and feet are about hip distance apart. Okay, so this should create a nice long spine. Your hands are directly below your shoulders and your knees are below your hips. And we just want to draw our shoulders back and down. Now we're going to move into what we call cat and cow posture. Again, a really good release through the lower back. The position that I'm in now is just called neutral. Okay, so we want to keep our spine long. You should have just a natural curve in your lower back. Everybody's a little bit different with the amount of curve they have. And then we're going to start by moving into cow posture. So we're going to look up. We're going to let our belly drop down. Create a bit more of an arch through the lower back. And then moving into cat posture, we tuck the chin under, looking down, chin towards chest, and really rounding up through the spine. And then again, releasing. So this one you're just going to do in your own time, so it should be at a timing that feels right for you. And we're just going to keep the breathing flowing in and out through the nose. Now if you feel like you've got any sort of tension in your lower back, you may choose not to go all the way to cow. You may just want to go from neutral and to cat. Okay, so it looks a little bit like this. Neutral and then cat. And one more time, I'm just going to show you the cow again, so if it feels right for you going all the way into cow. Okay. Another reason why cow posture might not feel good for you is if you're anything like me when I was between about 15 and 18 weeks pregnant, I was going through um, some abdominal separation, so I had quite a uh, severe sort of stretching and a bit of pain down the the centre of my abdominals so to go all the way into the cow posture would have just been impossible for me so I was just going from neutral and into cat. Okay remember we shouldn't do anything uh, that doesn't feel good for the body. Okay, another variation that you can do here uh, is just gently moving the hips from side to side so just keeping the spine sort of in that neutral position and just shifting out one hip and then the other. Okay, another variation. You can make circles at the hips uh, or even figure eights as well. So getting more and more movement. Again, just go with what feels right for your body. So that's cat and cow pose. I'm going to move into posture number three now, uh, which is called half pigeon. 
Now for this one you may choose to use a block or a cushion and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so grab those if you have them handy. Uh, first of all I'm going to show you a front on view. Okay, so we begin again on hands and knees and all you're going to do, let's start with the right leg. So we're going to slide the right leg forward. Now I'm taking my right knee out towards my right pinky finger. Okay, and my right foot is just tucking underneath my body there. And all I'm going to do is just slide my left leg back just as far as I can go. So that's about as far as I can go before I feel quite an intense stretch uh, through my right butt cheek here. So what I'm going to do is use the block just under the buttock, somewhere between the thigh and the buttock. And I'm just going to rest onto the block and it just gives me a wee bit of support so that I can relax into the posture just a little bit more. Okay, now you can also use the cushion in the same way. So if you don't have a yoga block, you can grab your cushion, pop it underneath the thigh, and again, just get the added support. If your bump is getting a wee bit bigger like mine, sometimes I find I have to just shift it over a little bit and yeah, just put the baby to the centre a little bit more. <laughs> so do whatever you need to do to get comfortable. Okay, and then from there we're just sitting up nice and tall. Again, you should feel it through the side of that butt cheek. If you do feel it in your knee joint, then chances are your knee's getting a little bit twisted and that's not where you should feel it. Uh, so please do come out, just do a wee readjustment uh, or otherwise rest out of the posture altogether. Now if you've a little bit earlier on in your pregnancy or you've got more flexibility uh, you can come down onto your elbows this is a little bit far for me because uh, um, my bump just gets in the way so I'm going to come back up but that is an option for you and then you can also move to extending your arms right out in front if you like which will take you further into the posture I'm just going to come out of that posture slowly and change over to the other side. And for the other side, I'm just going to do a side on view, just so you can catch a different angle. Okay, so again, I'm going to bring the knee forward. This time I've got my left knee towards my left pinky finger. I've got my foot tucked underneath. And then I'm going to slide my right leg back. And I'm just going to take my block, pop it under there for that support. Okay, now if you've got quite a lot of flexibility uh, through your hips, i.e. a lot more than I've got, uh, you, you won't need the block or the cushion, um, so you just take it away. So if, you're, if you find that the back of your leg here uh, in the front of your other leg uh, all the way down to the mat then you definitely won't need the block or the cushion. And if you think, well I, you know, I can't feel it in, in the buttocks, I need a bit more of a stretch and you can take the foot that's in front and just move it further forward a wee bit so that you've got more of a, a 90 degree angle at that front knee rather than a, a 45 degree angle like I've got. Really nice release through the buttocks. And again, just keeping our breathing flowing in and out through the nose, staying as relaxed as possible. Okay, now we're going to move into our final posture, which today is going to be butterfly pose. So I'll just turn to face the front for that one. Okay, so for butterfly pose, nice simple posture. All you do is you pop the soles of your feet together and just pull them in as close as you can towards your body. Okay, from there you can hold on to your feet and just let your knees just drop gently down towards the sides. If you want to feel a little bit more of a stretch, you can use 
uh, your elbows. So you just hold around your ankles here, and then gently just use a bit of a bit of pressure to let those legs lower further down towards the ground. So again, you can see I'm not so flexible here. You may be able to get your legs uh, lower towards the ground than me. And something that you can use if you've got two blocks or two cushions and you feel like you're quite tight through the hips and you're creating extra tension through there, you can just rest those underneath your legs. So one under there, one under the other side, that would give me a wee bit more support. And basically the stretch should be felt through the inner thighs and into the groin area. Now a lot of us have uh, tight lower backs, so something else that you can use either your, your block or your cushion for in this posture if you need to. It's just sitting on the cushion. Okay, and what this does is just helps to release through the lower back a little bit. And from there, you might find that you can either just bend forward into the posture a little bit more. Okay, and then if it feels right for you, you can just drop your chin down towards your chest and just gently round through the spine, relaxing into the posture further. Last little hold here if you want to let those knees lower down a little bit further you can do so now. And then very very slowly we're going to come out of that posture if you need to. You can use your hands just to lift your knees back up. And there we have it. So there's our four pregnancy yoga postures for today. Uh, there are quite a few more postures that I've done throughout my pregnancy, but uh, the other ones have dropped off along the way and I've found that these ones are really easy to stick to for 10 minutes in the morning. Um, so just do them at the time that feels right for you and I hope that you've, you get as much benefit out of doing them as I have. So I'm Ellie from Natural Balance Health and Fitness and thanks for watching.